Hi, this is Sung and I'm the principal and director of Sky Academy. And in this episode, I want to continue the work that we've been doing with sequences and series and look specifically at application type problems. In the last episode, we looked at annuities. This episode, I want to look at time payments. And time payments, let me say, like annuities, is another part of the HSC course where the questions in the HSC exam are done really poorly. And part of the reason why they're done poorly is the algebra in these type of questions can get really long and convoluted. Uh, and to be able to navigate your way through the algebra is going to be quite complex. All right. Um, I don't necessarily think these questions are hard, right? But again, there's it's a place where there's a lot of pitfalls where students can go wrong, all right? I've got a question up on the board behind me, um, and this question is, is the sort of question that you might be asked, although it might be broken up into specific parts because it won't be asked um, in the form that I've given it. But we're going to break this question down into parts anyway, okay? So let's have a look at this question. A couple borrows $450,000 to buy a house at an interest rate of 6%. If they are to repay the loan monthly over 25 years, what will be their monthly repayment? Okay, so a couple borrows $450,000 and they're paying interest back or interest at a rate of 6%. And we're going to assume that's per annum. So in other words, when you see 6% on its own and there's nothing to indicate whether it's monthly, yearly or whatever, what they're saying is it's per annum. Okay, so 6% per annum. If they are to repay the loan monthly over 25 years, what will be their monthly repayment? All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to say, let the monthly repayment be M, M dollars, okay? And... The number, or sorry, the balance after N months B A N. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and work out the balance after one month. So A1 is actually going to be $450,000 at an interest rate of 6% per, as a monthly rate will be 6% divided by 12, right? As a geometric ratio. As a ratio for the geometric progression, it's going to be, because it's an interest rate of 6%, you're increasing by 6% each time, it's not going to be 6% divided by 12, it's going to be, the, the ratio is going to be 1 times 6% divided by 12, okay? Which, in fact, is a nice is a nice round number. I've actually given you a nice round number. It's actually 1.005, okay? 1.005, um... And then from that, we're going to take away our M, which is our monthly repayment. Okay, good. So that is your balance after one month. After two months, it's going to be your A1 amount times your interest rate for the month, 1.005 minus M. Now, A1, I'm actually going to put that in green because this amount becomes that amount there times 1.005 minus M. And that's gonna be your A2 amount. Does that make sense? Your A2 amount is gonna be your A1 amount times your interest rate minus M. Simplifying all of that, you get that times that gives you 1.005 squared minus that times that is 1.005 M minus M, all right? which actually ends up being 450,000 times 1.005 squared minus M lots of 1.005 plus one, all right? So we're factorizing M out of here. M minus M comes, goes out the front. We're left with 1.005 plus one. Does that make sense? All right. So when it comes to working out A3, all right, here's what we'll find. It's gonna be A2 times 1.005 minus M. Because you're applying the interest rate, you're adding the interest rate, rate on for the month, and that'll be the rate times by your previous balance minus M. Does that make sense? So that will be given by 450,000 times 1.005 squared minus M lots of 
1.005 plus 1. All right, all of that in brackets times 1.005 minus M. So do you see how this amount slots straight into there? And then we're going to multiply by 1.005 and then minus M from the answer. Well, that's basically what's going to happen. Okay, when we multiply that out and simplify it, all right, this is where this is where students get unstuck with all the algebra that gets involved. Okay, when students work this out, what they should get is 450,000, one, two, three, times this 1.005 times this 1.005 gives us three lots of 1.005s being multiplied on, so it's to the power of three, minus and then you've got 1.005 lots of M times 1.005 plus one minus M, okay? This becomes 450,000 times 1.005 to the power of three. 1.005 times this 1.005 gives you 1.005 squared. This 1.005 times this one point, times this one is 1.005 minus one lot of M, factorized out, factorize out the one lot of M there to bring that inside the brackets, and it should be plus one, okay? So that's what you should get. 450,000 times 1.005 to the power of three minus M times 1.005 squared plus 1.005 plus one. Now, if you notice this, this is actually the beginnings of a geometric series. Well, it is a geometric series. You've got 1.005 squared plus 1.005 plus one, plus one, okay? Um, so, what we've worked out is we've worked out our A1 term, we've worked out our A2 term, which is this, and we've worked out our A3 term, which is that, okay? So, what I want you to notice from there is that we can work out an a n term, our general balance, all right, at any given month, after any given month. And what I want you to notice is that it's all gonna be 450,000 times 1.005, all to the power of, well, in this case, it's to the power of one, in this case, it's to the power of two, and in this case, it's to the power of three. So after n months, it's gonna be 450,000 times 1.005 to the power of n, yes? And then minus m, and in this case, you've got this geometric series here, right? So I'm gonna actually write this the other way around. I'm gonna start with one and then go to 1.005 plus 1.005 squared all the way up until 1.005 to the power of, and we've got to work out what number this number is power to, right? So in this case, it's the power of two squared. A3, the last term will be 1.005 to the power of two. And in A2, the last term will be 1.005 to the power of one, etc. So it's one less, it looks, appear, looks appears to be, or looks like it's going to be, one less than the power of whatever n is. So it's basically 1 plus 1.005 plus 1.005 squared all the way up until 1.005 to the power of 1 less than whatever n is. Does that make sense? So this will be the general term or for the balance of this loan after n months. Now let's simplify this bit further. Like I said before, this is a geometric series, okay? So, it's a geometric series. This is a geometric series with A, our first term, being 1, R, our common ratio, being 1.005, and N being, well, how many terms are there going to be? There's actually going to be N terms, N terms. And the reason why there are N terms is because if we look here, where is it? There's one term here for A1. Two, for the A2 expression, there will be one, two terms. For the A3 expression, there'll be one, two, three terms. So the number of terms that you'll have will, will coincide with N, okay? So it won't be N minus one, it'll be N, all right? So the geometric series, 
that will have these properties for the sum being a outside of r to the power of n minus one all over r minus one, which will be one outside of r to the power, what's r? 1.005 to the power of n minus one all over 1.005 minus one. So a n, if we were to simplify this down, is equal to 450,000 times 1.005 to the power of n minus m lots of 1.005 n minus one all over that minus that 0 0.005. Does that make sense? All right. So basically what I did was substitute this for that because that's gonna be equal to that. Yep. So what we've got to do is work out what our monthly repayment is. The only thing that we're missing is AN, all right, which we want our balance to be equal to zero at the end of 25 years, right? So when N equals 25 years is 300 months, when N equals to 300, we want AN to be equal to zero, yes? So we've got to find M. We've got to work out what M is, right? So M, we, if we make M the subject of the formula, all right, what we get is zero equals to 450,000 times 1.005 to the power of 300 minus M all to the power of 1.005 to the power of 300 minus one all on 0 0.005. So bring this over, bring all of this over to this side. So M times 1.005 to the power of 300 minus one, all on 0 0.005 equals to 450,000 times 1.005 to the 300. All right, so you're left with that. Divide this down. So I would put M is equal to 450,000 times 10, 1.00, yeah. all over 1.005 to the 300 minus one, all on 0 0.005. Work out their answer for that, which is, which is $2,899.50. Six cents. Okay, so that, so that will be the amount of money that will be re, that will need to be repaid over a period of twenty-five years. The questions that are likely to be phrased are put in this way, right? So they'll usually ask you to work out the first month's balance, the second month's balance, maybe the third or the fourth month's balance. Right? Work out the general, the general balance or a formula for the general balance and then work out what the monthly repayment will be. It'll usually follow that structure. Okay? So if you can get this question and understand this question well, then this sort of question will be very easy to understand for the, for the HSC and very easy to follow. Okay? So you'll be able to, to blitz it where other students um, have trouble. So thank you very much for watching.